Hey everybody, I'm Raymond Francis and today I want to talk about vitamin D and prostate cancer. Now, vitamin D deficiency is a biomarker and predictor of aggressive prostate cancer. That is cancer that has migrated outside the prostate. A 2017 study in the Journal of Clinical Oncology finds a major link between aggressive prostate cancer and low levels of vitamin D. This is a very important discovery since most people are vitamin D deficient, especially in the winter. Deficiency is common because it is difficult to have normal levels unless you get regular sunlight or unless you're supplementing. Prostate cancer is one more reason for testing vitamin D levels periodically and then correcting any deficiency with high quality supplements. People with dark skin, men with dark skin, and those who avoid the sun should absolutely be tested. You now, people with dark skin are form far more likely to be vitamin D deficient because they need more sunlight to get the vitamin D. Since vitamin D is essential to so much of the body's biology, we all need to make sure we're getting enough vitamin D. And this is why testing is so important. Keep your vitamin D levels in the upper half of the normal range. So when you, the doctor measures it and you, you look at it, you need to keep yours in the upper level of the normal range. The optimal level is thought to be about 50 to 70 nanograms per milliliter year-round. Meanwhile, the average vitamin D level in Chicago during the winter is only 25. So here we, the, the optimal level is thought to be 50 to 70 and it's only 25 in Chicago. Uh, avoiding vitamin D deficiency is part of good preventive health care. I personally supplement with an extra 5,000 IU of vitamin D every day. But again, You've got to be careful, as with any supplement, you need a high quality supplement because if you don't use high quality, they can have toxins in them and they can be ineffective. So thanks for listening. Be in good health. Enjoy.